Why is he going to sleep? Uh, not in my room. He's a he. Tony's a he. Shut up. And Tony would be more than welcome to a bunk up. Who's Tony? I'm warning you. Just some boy she's in love with. No. Darling, really? That's it. Well, when can I meet him? <laughs> can I meet him? <laughs> Darling? When Jonathan grows up, he wants to be an astronaut. Last year, he built a pair of rocket boots. Three, two, one. And is now only allowed to play with safe, educational indoor toys from the olden days. Awesome. Jonathan, don't even think about it. 34% of pre-breakfast accidents involve banisters. But Paddington just... I don't care what Paddington just... <laughs> oh, oh. Hey, Paddington, have you seen the paper? Gosh. You've only been in London a day and you're already famous. Oh. I'm sorry if I wasn't very nice before. It's just, it's a new school and I didn't want everyone to think I was weird. Oh, I understand, Judy. It's not easy being somewhere new. No, it isn't. Things can be very different from how you imagined. Oh, don't let him bother you. Dad's always been boring and annoying. Oh, don't know about that. More to your father than meets the eye. Like what? Well, when I first met him, he was a very different man. Oh. Maybe you and Dad just need a fresh start. Hmm. Suppose I didn't make the best first impression. Don't take this the wrong way, but... Why don't we try to make you look a bit more presentable? Hang on a minute. You're not talking about... The facilities! The lights, Paddington. Not that bad. It is that bad. Isn't it rain enough in this city without having showers in the house? We are parents now, and we have to protect our children. We do! They're screaming! No, darling, that's the sound of laughter. <laughs> wind. Hot wind. Too hot wind. I don't like it. Well, I hope I don't look weird after all that. Too much? Too much. Too much? <laughs> well, give me a brush, will you? <laughs> ah, there it is. It's my old duffel coat. Actually, it was mine first. Well, long before that, it was mine. Oh, was it, Mr. Brown? Really? You were in his first day at school. It's lovely. Wooden buttons for ease of pull. And these two sandwich compartments are an excellent idea. I must say, it suits you very well. I never thought I'd like a human coat, but... You look like one of the family. Oh. You're not going to send Paddington to the authorities, are you? You will try at the Geographer's Guild. Yes, all right. We'll yes. see if they know anything. But if it's a dead end... I'm sure it won't be. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. The Browns are a curious tribe, but I rather like them. The way Mr. Brown arranges his stationery. The strange objects Mrs. Brown finds in her handbag. Ah. How Mrs. Bird has a hoover for every occasion. The Judy can master any language, even bear. <laughs> Wonderful pronunciation. And how Jonathan can build almost anything using only Mr. Brown's educational old toys. This is amazing. It's very strange. I may be about to find the explorer, but I'm actually beginning to feel at home here. That's 50,000 volts. I know what I'm doing. Go for it. And Mr. Brown is helping Jonathan build an enormous rocket. You sure about this, Dad? Face it, Jonathan, if we're going to get this bad boy into orbit, we're going to need all the nitroglycerin. Although Jonathan worries about his father's reckless attitude to safety. Houston, we may have a problem. Dad! 
Guess what, Paddington? Mm -hmm. The steam fair's coming to town. Mm. I'm going along tonight to write about it in my newspaper. Mm. Who's going to want to read about that? Everyone. We <laughs> travel the world in an old steam train. I thought you'd love it. I do. Don't tell anyone, OK? Not cool. Why don't we all go? Good idea. Father's a dab hand at the coconut shy. Mm. Bullseye Brown, they used to call him. Well, not anymore. Coconuts are a young man's game. Well, I think you're in great shape for a man your age, Mr Brown. Ah, thank you, Paddington. Hang on, how old do you think I am? Oh, uh, about 80. 80? At least. Jonathan is joining her at big school this year. He spent the holidays building a fully working steam engine. But I'm not supposed to talk about that, as it's not cool. He's got a whole new look, and if anyone asks, he's now called J-Dog, and is definitely not into steam trains. Judy Brown from the Portobello Express. Come in. So what's this for, darlings? School newspaper? Yes, we thought the agent of the Phoenix Buchanan would be really interesting. And you'd be right, but I've got two minutes, so we'd better make it snappy. And I've only given you that because you've brought breakfast. Nice buns, by the way. Here he comes. Hello, Joe! What a surprise! <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, you know, posting letters. How's Paddington? Oh, he's a tough wee bear. Yeah, he is. Well, send him my best. Yes, I will. Thank you, Joe. Bye. Bye bye. Mr. Buchanan. So when can we expect to see Mr Buchanan back on stage? Phoenix? Oh, I wouldn't hold your breath, darling. <laughs> no, 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 don't get me wrong. He's a terrific actor. But there is a teensy little problem. Really? He won't work with other people. Thinks they dilute his talent. Miss Fenshaw. Oh, I must scoot. We're having lunch with a big Broadway producer. Oh, where are you going? The Ritz, darling. Really nice buns. no less. Lucky, lucky phoenix. Ooh. Uh, uh. Hello. Phoenix. Felicity. What a lovely surprise. I was beginning to think you'd lost my number. I've got two minutes. We'd better make it snappy. OK. We're having lunch with a big Broadway producer. Well, wonderful news. Yes, yes. Where does one go? The Ritz, darling. I am on my way. Nice buns, by the way. I beg your pardon? Really nice buns. Thank you, darling. I've never had any complaints about Mr. and Mrs. Bottycheek. Yes. Gloves, keys, and exit. Oil pressure, 225. Water, half a glass, air brake. Oh. Nice work, J Dog. My name's not J Dog. It's Jonathan Brown, and I like steam trains. Oh, 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 I'm, God, I'm, I'm so sick. sick. I'm so sick. Get, 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 get off. Shush. Come on, come on. Shush. Don't shush me, Gertrude. I have just been spilled upon by a chilled liquid. Gerald, I want you to shush. Yes, Gertrude. 